feel like this is like a long time coming. That's right, that's right. We've been talking so long and uh, we missed each other the last time I was in town. Yeah. And so it's good to finally sit down and uh, have this face to face. Yes, sitting down with the one and only Kofuzi. Kofuzi, Corey, Corey, Kofuzi. It's a YouTube event. Okay, maybe not a YouTube event, but it was a great conversation. We talked about a lot of things. We laughed, we cried, we did a shakeout run. It was fantastic. But first, PR or ER? <laughs> um, that's Justin referencing my last video where I talked about the heat that we're gonna be feeling during New York City Marathon. I think they're saying now like 74, 75 degrees potentially, possibly a record breaker for the day. It's gonna be hot, you're gonna to have to slow down. So I assume Justin is joking. I hope Justin is joking. Please, Justin, tell me you're joking. Um, <laughs> it's gonna to be tough. Uh, in fact, I actually asked Kofuzi about that, how he's gonna handle the heat, his advice, and I'll give you a clue, it's not PR or ER. <laughs> I ran London in 2018 when it was hot. I went out at PR pace and paid for it. I ran my best ever marathon time five weeks ago, so New York is just for fun. I want to run easy and enjoy the whole experience. Far too warm for a marathon. Uh, Christina, first of all, good luck to you. Hopefully you have a great race. I am down with your approach a thousand percent. Have a fun time, enjoy the race, but not PRville. Best advice I can give is stop thinking too much about anything negative. Put positive thoughts in your head and you'll enjoy your marathon. It may sound cliche, but it is true and it works. Good luck to you, you'll do fine. A buck, thank you very much. Positively obviously important, but so is uh, being realistic and honest and uh, planning ahead. All right, back to Kofuzi. Did my first ever Kofuzi shakeout run, which was a blast as expected. And I also had a chance to sit down with him for an interview beforehand. And we talked about a lot of interesting stuff, which I'm gonna edit together. When I have more time, obviously right now, you know, I'm focused on this race, getting to bed early, blah, blah, blah. But I did want to share this because we talked about the heat. We talked about the race. And I asked him how he's going to approach it. Obviously, Kofuzi, if you follow him, he has dealt with heat in races before. So here's what he says. What would your advice be for somebody who's going out and running? Maybe it's their first marathon. Maybe it's their yeah. second. Maybe they had really grand plans. Yeah. What do you say to them? Yeah, so I would say if it's a hotter day and if it's not your first marathon, you're probably thinking, oh, 70, that sounds beautiful. You're outside right now. This is perfect sitting in the shade weather. Um, but for running, it's going to be it's going to feel really hot. And especially as your body starts to heat up from the effort, once you're two hours into it, three hours into it, this temperature is gonna feel pretty oppressive. And so I would say as a starting point, like whatever pace group you thought you might line up in, pick one behind it. So if you're gonna line up at 320, maybe 325, maybe 330, right? So I was initially thinking maybe 310 to 320, now I'm thinking maybe 320 to 330. So pick that behind, stay there at least for the half, if not to 16 to 20. I'm thinking for New York, I mean, this is my first time, but from everyone I've talked to and from seeing it last year, I'm thinking, Okay, wait till after the Queensboro Bridge yes. before I start making any changes, but stay in that one or two pace groups back, then make some decisions. Cause you're gonna feel great. You're gonna feel really good cause you're not gonna start off shivering this race. So you're just gonna feel great. Uh, and it's gonna be so tempting to overdo it um, in those early miles. I'd say like, you know, uh, I think a good day Sunday would be for people who it's maybe aren't as experienced or if it's their first marathon to finish thinking, oh man, I could do so much better than that, yeah. than being like, oh, I really messed that one up. <laughs> Hit that wall, now I know what that feels like. You know, I don't want people to feel that, you know? Yeah. I'd rather people finish with a big smile on their face, marveling at how much better they can do for the next one, than regretting that they had a little bit too much fun uh, before that Queensboro Bridge. More Kofuzi coming soon. Certainly good luck to everyone who's running on Sunday. And before I go, uh, give me your predictions. I wanna know how you think I'm gonna do in the marathon. As I was saying earlier, initially I was thinking 454 was the goal. Now it's gonna be like 505, 510. Um, my watch says I'll do it in 448. So we all know that's not right. 